Hello, I hope you are doing well with another clip from FactMact. We are at your service. I hope you like this clip. Today we delve into an unsettling phenomenon. People mysteriously vanishing right in front of security cameras. These aren't tales spun from thin air but eerie, fact-based incidents that have perplexed investigators worldwide. Imagine one moment you're there, the next, poof, vanished without a trace. Prepare yourself for a series of inexplicable real-life disappearances caught on camera. Our first case takes us back to July 2014, involving a German tourist named Lars Mittank. Lars, age 28, was enjoying a vacation with friends in Golden Sands, a seaside resort on the coast of Bulgaria. However the fun took a turn when Lars got into a fight, sustaining an injury to his ear. He was prescribed antibiotics and advised not to fly due to the risk of a possible rupture to his eardrum. His friends decided to continue their journey home, leaving Lars behind to recuperate. But things started to take an eerie turn. Lars began acting strangely, sending unsettling text messages to his mother. He claimed he was being followed and that his life was in danger. His paranoia peaked on the morning of July 8. That fateful day Lars arrived at Varna Airport with the intention of flying back home to Germany. He entered the airport's medical office appearing agitated and nervous. Suddenly, Lars sprinted out of the office leaving behind his luggage, passport and personal belongings. CCTV footage captured the frantic scene as Lars bolted through the airport, out into the parking lot, and vanished into a nearby forest. His sudden shift in behavior and the urgency of his escape left many puzzled. Was Lars suffering from a medical condition? Was he truly being pursued? Or was it a case of paranoia induced by his isolation and the stress of his injury? Following his disappearance, searches were conducted in the surrounding area, but to no avail. Lars Middink had vanished, leaving behind a trail of unanswered questions. His case ignited a flurry of theories and speculation online, with armchair detectives and professional investigators alike puzzling over the footage of his last known moments. Mittank was last seen running out of the airport, and has not been seen since. His disappearance remains one of the most perplexing mysteries of the digital age, a chilling reminder that even in our heavily surveilled world, people can still vanish without a trace. Next we delve into the chilling case of Elisa Lamb, a Canadian student who vanished in 2013. Lamb's story is one that continues to baffle both investigators and the public, years after her tragic demise. Elisa Lamb was a 21-year-old student from Vancouver, Canada, visiting Los Angeles as part of her solo adventure across the West Coast. On January 31, 2013, she checked into the Cecil Hotel, a historic but ill-famed establishment in downtown LA, notorious for its dark past. The last sighting of Elisa was on January 31, but it wasn't until mid-February that her bizarre case caught the world's attention. The Los Angeles Police Department released a perplexing piece of CCTV footage from the hotel's elevator, showing Lamb's last known moments. In the footage, Elisa's behavior is unsettling to say the least. She steps into the elevator, presses multiple buttons and waits. But the elevator doors don't close. She peeks outside as if hiding or perhaps looking for someone. She steps out then back in, presses more buttons but still, the doors don't close. Her movements are erratic her gestures seemingly directed at an unseen entity. Then, as abruptly as she appeared, Elisa exits the elevator and walks out of frame, leaving behind an open, empty elevator with doors that finally close. Days later, on February 19, Elisa's body was found in one of the hotel's rooftop water tanks. After guests complained about the water's taste and color, the autopsy confirmed drowning as the cause of death, with no evidence of foul play or self-harm. Yet the questions remain, how did she end up in the tank? Why was she acting so strangely in the elevator? Was there someone else involved, unseen in the footage? Despite numerous theories and speculations, the truth behind Elisa Lamb's final moments remains shrouded in mystery. Lamb's body was later discovered in the hotel's water tank, but the footage of her last known moments remains a mystery. We now turn to a baffling case from 2006, involving medical student Brian Schaffer. This is a mystery that has puzzled investigators for over a decade and a half, as the security footage from that fateful night raises more questions than it answers. On April 1st, Brian Schaefer was seen on CCTV cameras entering the Ugly Tuna Saluna, a bar in Columbus, Ohio. He was with friends, enjoying a night out. The timestamp on the footage shows this was around 10 p.m. now. What transpires next is where the mystery begins. The same security cameras that captured Brian's entry into the bar failed to record his exit. This was despite the fact that these cameras were monitoring all the exits, with no blind spots. 
Brian Schaffer, it seemed, had entered the bar and never left. The footage was reviewed extensively. Investigators hoped that perhaps Brian had slipped out unnoticed, maybe blending in with the crowd. But, no such luck. Every patron was accounted for in the footage, everyone except Brian Schaffer. It was as if he had disappeared into thin air. In the aftermath of his disappearance, searches were conducted, leads were followed, and theories were put forth. Some speculated he had run away, others thought he may have met with foul play. But none of these theories could explain how Brian had managed to leave the bar undetected. Despite the surveillance footage, despite the exhaustive investigations, and despite the passage of more than 15 years, Brian Schaefer's disappearance remains a mystery. The footage from that night, instead of providing answers, only deepens the enigma. It's a stark reminder of how, even in an age of constant surveillance, people can still vanish without a trace. Despite extensive searches and investigations, Brian Schaffer seems to have vanished without a trace. Our last case is that of Maura Murray, a nursing student who disappeared in 2004. In a small town in New Hampshire, Maura Murray, a promising young nursing student from Massachusetts, vanished without a trace. The eerie chain of events began on a cold February evening when Maura's black Saturn sedan was discovered, abandoned and damaged, on Route 112. The airbags had been deployed, and a cracked windshield suggested a car crash. Yet, no one could pinpoint exactly what happened that night. A local bus driver returning home from his evening shift came across the scene. He reported seeing a young woman, presumably Mora, standing next to the vehicle. She seemed shaken but not visibly injured. The bus driver sensing her distress offered help, but she declined, insisting she'd already called for roadside assistance. He drove off, but something about the encounter didn't sit right with him. Upon reaching home, he called the police to report the incident. By the time law enforcement arrived at the scene the car was still there, but Mora was nowhere to be found. Her disappearance was as sudden as it was baffling. One would assume that in this era of advanced technology, surveillance cameras would provide some answers. But in Mora's case, they only deepened the mystery. Despite extensive searches of the area and a thorough investigation, no CCTV footage was found that could confirm her whereabouts after the accident. It was as if she had vanished into thin air. What happened to Maura Murray, after she walked away from her car that winter night? Did she get lost in the woods, was she abducted or did she choose to disappear? The questions are endless, the answers elusive. As days turned into weeks, weeks into months and months into years, Maura's case grew colder. Yet it continues to intrigue and haunt us. Despite countless theories and investigations her fate remains unknown. Maura Murray's disappearance remains one of the most haunting unsolved cases to this day. These are just a few of the many baffling cases of people disappearing in front of security cameras. We dove into the chilling story of Lars Matank, the man who vanished from an airport in broad daylight. We then moved on to the perplexing case of Elisa Lam, whose last moments were caught on an elevator camera before she mysteriously vanished. We talked about Brian Schaffer, who walked into a bar and was never seen again, despite surveillance footage showing no sign of his exit. Lastly, we delved into the enigma of Maura Murray, who disappeared following a car crash, leaving no trace behind. Each of these stories is a stark reminder of how reality can sometimes be stranger and more frightening than fiction. These people, living their everyday lives, vanished into thin air, leaving behind more questions than answers. These unsolved mysteries captured on camera continue to baffle investigators and spark curiosity among mystery enthusiasts around the globe. They serve as chilling reminders of the unexplained phenomena that can occur right before our eyes. As we conclude, we invite you to ponder upon these mysteries. Perhaps you might stumble upon a clue that could unlock one of these cold cases. Thank you for watching this clip. If you like the clip, be sure to follow us and introduce us to others.